The first thing to notice in solving this question is that when you are given this equation for the potential difference, you'll notice that you have 170 volts in front of the sign expression. And perhaps from a mathematics class, we know that that 170 volts or whatever other value is present in front of the sine function is your so-called amplitude. So we've drawn a picture of a sine curve. And since the amplitude here is 170 volts, that simply means that the maximum value of the potential difference is going to be 170 volts. So it's important to look at that value of 170 volts as the delta V max. And we know there's a relationship between the maximum potential difference and the RMS potential difference. This question is asking us for the RMS potential difference, sometimes called voltage. So if we're going to find the RMS voltage, we're going to need to find the maximum voltage. And we need to find that specifically in the secondary coil. So this 170 volts is for the primary coil. Our job will be to find the value for the secondary. And of course, there's a nice equation that gives us this value for the transformer. We can see that the potential difference in the secondary coil is equal to the number of turns in the secondary coil divided by the number of turns in the primary coil times the potential difference of the primary coil. So we'll begin to set this up by using the given values. Again, the number of turns in the secondary coil is what we need first and that is 1500 so we'll have 1500 as the value of n2 and then n1 is the number of turns in the primary coil that's 250 multiplied by the potential difference in the primary coil which we have said is 170 volts at least it is for the maximum value so we'll pick up our calculators and we will punch this in and when we do so we can see that the maximum potential difference in the secondary coil is 1020 volts. Now we can easily convert that into the RMS by using this equation right here. So we'll basically take the maximum potential difference of 1020 volts and then divide that by the square root of two. And when we do that, we can see that the RMS potential difference is 721 volts. So this would be the correct answer to the question.